Hello everybody, this is the Dan Tuga coming at you again with a brand new video for Life is Strange. I just finished rummaging through all of Step Douche's stuff, and now I'm starting to feel a little bad because underneath all the crazy there seems to be a very sensitive, troubled man. But I still am sticking with my prediction that as soon as he finds out I'm here, everything is just gonna go very very badly for max so let's see what happens oh i'm so right look at this this is, nice this is breakfast. it david you, you're back already that's what happens when you lose your job as head of blackwell security what happened like max what you would expect totally got to him fired in pc college bullshit age principal takes the words of lying stone students over a veteran and law professional. Uh, again? This isn't the first time you've gotten in trouble there. Well, now it's the last time. I'll get a lawyer to sue their ass. It's actually not a bad idea. That principal is uh, pretty shady. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Oh, I can't believe you got fired. No, of course I can believe you got fired. Did you threaten some poor student with a stockade? He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now, now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Well... I really don't care for either of them, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, David's kind of a jerk. And he mistreats people. I mean, sure, he might be having some mental problems, but those are his issues, and his actions are still his responsibility. Chloe, well, she doesn't take responsibility for pretty much anything she does, either. In fact, they're actually quite a bit alike. Both very stubborn, set in their ways, and always trying to one-up each other by putting the other one down. And here I am as Max, caught in the middle of it, and I really don't want to side with either one of them. I would prefer a stay silent option, which is in most Telltale games, but they don't have it in this one, because Telltale didn't make this. Huh. You know, I already turned my back on David once, so I'm going to do it again and side with Chloe. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh. You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, <laughs> you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. It's day. Uh-oh. Hey. Chloe, for once. Just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Who cares? 
Is that kind of callous? That's probably kind of callous of me. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Well, I guess you're not. Good. Should I go talk to David? Maybe I can find out some information. Or maybe he'll just tell me to get lost. Or hear you again, Max. Yeah. You've hurt me okay. And my family okay. Enough. Okay. Okay. It's all good. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Nah, nah. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Casual ninja. Somebody Shit. make that a video game. Okay, here's That's a great flash game I'll go name. to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Is old man here? The one with the lotto ticket? He ain't got time for this. He's got to... He just won the lottery. Maybe if I got a fish from this weird guy... Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Hi, fisherman. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next, the tornado? You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Like global I'm a warming. No Damn global warming. I know warming. the sea is warming, but this is something new. Maybe worse. What do you mean? Worse. If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay, sorry, I'm just too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. What what's going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay? Good morning. How are the fish? Don't ask. I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Dun, dun, dun. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, it's too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Bird. What is going on here? These birds are contaminated. They have bird flu virus. It's gotta be global warming. Definitely global warming. Locked. I'm really not sure exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. So let's see, I talked to him, can I leave nope, the street? Nope, I don't want to go there. Can I go inside? I can, alright, so this must be where I'm supposed Ooh, to progress. Bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. 
Uh, I could chug this beer or dump it on Frank. Beer is gross, so... You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky <laughs> I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. I like Frank. In other words, I get Max, him. No keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Yeah, all Groundhog Day on them. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate and she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Wow, I have a lot of options. Um... Man, where to start? Uh, let's start at the top. Do you think weird town. Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. What about Kate Marsh? I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. Such a waste. It's awful. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his <laughs> service, but cannon. he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Nathan! Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. Looks like ass on you. <laughs> sure hope you're not following me. You're in enough trouble after you got David fired. Considering like we're friends? in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. Your, your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. I'm glad that him and that other horrible girl are together. Holy shit, what do you want now? Any drugs? Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. He'll hook your ass up. We're going all the way back. Oh. Going to way back. All the way back. I just <laughs> wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, not a good idea. Maybe one more. <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Mm. 
By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. And I'll back off. Hmm. I can spill his food you too? You like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! Oh! Go ahead. Come at me, bro. There's a cop right by me. And I have to go back on it. Narrative and all. Okay. So let's see, I know about the higher education thing. How you doing, Maxine? Thanks, Does that Officer change Barry. any options? I'm glad you're a cop. Let's see. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, you don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Hmm. Rachel! Uh, what have... Rachel and Frank. What should I what should I say? Your father came marsh, drugs for sale. Um I bet Rachel Frank, Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, Virgin. Even that oh. pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. I think I will talk to the cop about that. We'll chat later, Max. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. We'll chat later, Max. Hmm. Let's see if that changes. Uh... David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Ooh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? <laughs> You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. By the way, Frank... <laughs> But... But nothing. Hmm. So let's see, so how much information have I gathered? Not much. Let's see, Kate Marsh. Let's talk I about Kate Marsh. I that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in a diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. I really hate him. Holy shit. I bet Frank hooked... Nice try. I doubt... What? We're gonna go all the way back. Oh, 
I'm trying to think of what a good title for this video is going to be when I upload it. Adventures in a diner? Walking around a diner? Having similar conversations over and over again? Okay, so nothing new here. Maybe the cop. He did say that the cop How you doing, about Maxine? their relationship. Thanks, Officer Bear. I'm glad. Let's see. Kate Marsh. Rachel and Frank, there you go. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Okay. So maybe now I can talk to him about that. What's going on? That doesn't explain the recent extreme weather patterns. No, but we have to start with the hypothesis that climate change is a partial cause for the unseasonal weather. That doesn't explain everything, of course. Frankly, we don't know yet. Dr. Hedora, will your team know more after their latest tests? I hope we see more patterns, which gives us an atmospheric template. Many local residents of Arcadia Bay have been questioning what has been going on with this crazy weather. We had an eclipse yesterday. A snowstorm two days ago, which, as most of you know, is not common this time of year. It's unprecedented, to be honest with you. Uh, the last time that we had a snowstorm of this caliber was over a hundred years ago. All of us are questioning, what is happening in Arcadia Bay? Please feel free to call in and let me know what your experience has been. What it's going to be global be. warming. Is global warming? What is yes! Damn global warming! All of this crazy weather. Buy a Prius today. Save the planet. That's my Al Gore. It's not what very the good. Fuck now. Let's talk about your dogs. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. <coughs> hmm, so let's see. If I just take them... He's gonna stop me. But if you I like spill Try the floor. this on him, and he's gonna slip. Beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. <laughs> <laughs> now he's on the ground. He's on the ground. I can grab the keys. No. Oh man. I thought I had that figured out. I was thought I thought I was all smart. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Um... Okay, so that's not the option. <clears throat> right, so I got him to Keep put him on. on. Now back to Chloe. Oh... So that, that whole spatial thing kind of throws me off. Because I expect that when I rewind time, everything like physically resets as well. It's like girl that always gets hit by stuff. Are you shitting me? Ha <laughs> ha! Shitting me? 
Don't worry, I'll stop it from happening. Nope. Sorry. Shoot. That's no, one more time. Alyssa, watch out! Quit thinking, Max. I'm just being nice. Don't mind me. Hi, Chloe. Big help you've been. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't That's have done terrible. it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. Where did you get that? On your mark, get set. Throw! Throw it towards the road. Throw it towards. Oh, if I throw this towards the road, is he gonna die? I'm gonna throw him in the parking lot. Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can yeah, snoop yeah, peace. Chloe. We got it. Let's not we waste time. It. You're so clever, the Chloe. Is busy now, but he might come back. Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Focus, yes, Chloe! Yes, be tearing up the highway. Focus, and Max! And you me to drive it like you dared me to kiss you? Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need Thank to you, Max. Get your head in the game, guys. Daydreaming? Get your head in the game. This dude is like legit dangerous. You okay. scope the area while I hack his computer for info. You mean just go through his computer? That's not exactly Frank hacking. is almost a made for TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Is Frank going to deal online now? <laughs> Are these for Frank, or is he selling them? Or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. <laughs> Are these for oh, Frank, yeah. or is he selling them? I already looked at that. Or both? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Nice. Great for doing meth. Yeah. How can somebody live like this? It's pretty nasty. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Okay. Crack. Hey. Should I give it back to her? Yeah, why not? Sure, she's unstable, but she's always with me, and one of us maybe. should have a gun. An ounce of dank bud? Oh, you so rule, Max. Thank you. I feel so much better now. You better bring it back to David right away. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. Better be. I okay, might that was a regret this, but cross. I can't let Frank hurt someone. I dog think the food. doggy likes his bone more. I think you're right. Can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. I can. The two peas in a pod. Both crazy. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. She should be scared. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Almost. 
I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Ah, and that's what we need. The right tool. No more secrets. But what could the right tool be? Could it be prescription pills? Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Pry it open, okay. What will I use, dear viewers? A knife? This is almost as good as a set of keys. Why does he have a knife with his ordered pizza? Don't ordered pizzas come pre-cut? My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. Aww. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Huh. I kind of thought that Rachel and Chloe were, uh... <clears throat> I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Hmm. Interesting. And I suppose I could check the other one, but... It's not giving me the option to now, so we'll talk to Chloe, I suppose. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. What is yeah, everything's about you, down? Chloe. My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on the stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! She should go shoot Frank. That'd be awesome. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Frank. I kind of like Frank. He's a tell it as it is kind of guy. I would vote for him for president. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Huh. Grow up. Grow up. And I'm not trying to be mean, but you're not the only one in Arcadia Bay with problems. Kate Marsh killed herself, you know. Yes, Kate Marsh killed herself. She's dead. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make Such me feel better sad. about my fucked up life, get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. You hear that? I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you.
Yeah. Still just not a fan of Chloe. Just not, I don't think. Uh, I don't think she's going to be winning me over anytime soon. She's immature. She only cares about herself. And, uh, I don't know. Not a big fan of her. Oh my god. What is happening now? Did she, did her time rewind powers just level up? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. William! This is a keeper. Not until I see it first! You know the rules, Dad! Max, tell him! Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. What? Well, uh, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Daddy. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in time? You mean pancakes? Whoa. In France, they call them I'm 18 years like old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to eat. How? Oh man, puberty is gonna suck. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom Chloe is just ten. so. Damn happy and carefree. Don't you? And this is the last time, unless I change it. Like you're the real cook. I love William, like he was in my own family. I won't let him die today. I'll let her know that. I won't. Whoa. Alrighty, and I'm gonna end this video right here. Wow, things are really happening. Oh man, this is not the way I thought this story was gonna go. <laughs> Alrighty, well thank you so much for watching. I'm Dan Tuga and this is my outro.